There the doors are opening. Here they come. Great. And there they are, NASA astronauts. <laughs> Small crowd, but big cheers. NASA astronauts, Bob Benkin and Doug Hurley, Doug on the left, Bob on the right, waving to the crowd there to cheer them on. <laughs> and there are their families right in front of them. The virtual hugs, a very special <laughs> moment. Fist bumps. You can hear them. Let's <laughs> light this candle, I agree. Launch America! Bye, guys. Now they are getting into the Tesla Model X that's going to take them to the launch pad, being strapped into their seats. Their suit techs are attaching their umbilicals, so uh, integrated into the Teslas. These are not just the new Tesla you can just buy off the, off the web or in a Tesla dealership. Um, they've been outfitted with cooling units, and that white umbilical, similar to what you saw in the checkout, the suit room, uh, that umbilical is being connected to the suit to provide cooling air to the astronauts while they're on the way to the pad. And those Falcon wing doors are closing. Super sleek. A rapid departure from the Astro van. <laughs> yes, I would say so. <laughs> and their uh, flight surgeon is in the front seat in the passenger side taking the journey along with them. As I mentioned last time, we always think about the technology and the rockets, but this is what it's all about. The families coming together, supporting the families, us working together as a team to ensure they get up there safely and back home safely for their families. I couldn't hear everything they were saying, but I, I did catch Bob telling his son to, to be good for mom, make her <laughs> life easy. <laughs> As a parent, I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see that prominent NASA meatball. Now, as we watch the convoy begin their journey to pad 39A, to our SpaceX and NASA family who over the years made this mission a reality and have, who have worked this launch campaign up to this point, we have you here in our thoughts. And we wish every one of you could be here to see this up close, but we want you to be part of this journey regardless of where you call home and regardless of where you're watching from today. And so for the next few minutes, we are going to follow the convoy, but highlight those whose words and hands and thoughts built all that we see here today. We hope 